you know, at the end of the day, I just I'm going to be blessed and honored to step on the stage with with these great uh, competitors. I'm just going to go up there and have fun, man. That's what it's all about. Yeah, Are man, I'm excited gonna... to meet you in person, bro. Huh? I said I'm excited to meet you in person. You know? Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, man. definitely, definitely. <laughs>
just be lights out in every workout, light laser focus. But I, I'm here and um, I'm ex- really excited. You know, whatever happens there happens. But I know I'm bringing a package that I can be super proud of. All right, cool. Yeah, no, I agree. We saw some uh, some uh, some picks today, and uh, you do look fantastic. But Phil, what about you? Because <clears throat> you've had a devastating year, right? You've had a uh, you've been basically lights out this whole year. You won uh, the Orlando Pro. Now you're going to the Masters Olympia, and you're going to the Olympia. You've never been on a stage this this big. Uh, does that make you give? Does that give you any kind of anxiety, or are you thinking to yourself? Oh, these guys have done it before. They have one thing uh, uh, against me, or are you just taking it all in stride? You're like, no, nah, I'm just gonna wreck shit. No, you know, I'm a I'm a wrestler, man. I, I came from a, a big wrestling background. I, you know, I wrestled in states, and I'm used to, you know, the big stage. You know, I me mean? being a wrestler, uh, and also, you know, I was an amateur boxer. So, you know, what I mean, no. with me, if you're if you're if you're a pro, man, and this is what you signed up for to do. I think probably, probably, I'm not 100% sure yet until I step there, but the Olympia by itself, you know what I mean? Nerves is never a thing I had to battle with, but you know what I mean? I think that will be overwhelming a little bit, but I think I'm going to be fine uh, at the Olympia. Uh, the Master Olympia, that stage is actually bigger than the Mr. Olympia. I mean, this 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 is an ar- arena. This thing is huge, you know. Yeah. But um, I'm yeah, just they know excited. how to do it well in Europe. Like if you saw oh, yeah. if you saw the show <clears throat> this week, uh, the big man uh, weekend. I mean, it was it was the promotion that was beautiful. Was fantastic. They actually had uh, round seats, almost like you were in a uh, like a like a like a like a like a club, and you could have drinks and food. And the yeah. the that background was amazing. I don't know what they're doing over there, but they the love US, bodybuilding. Bro. The U.S. has to fu- take some fucking <laughs> notes because you know I yeah. went to the New York. I went to the New York Pro, and don't get me wrong, I love going to the New York Pro, but it's basically you know yeah. just a stage and get on there and pose them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, Quentin. Quentin told us about because he was up there in Romania uh, a couple of years ago when he competed, he said that they love bodybuilding. It's going to be loud. And that crowd is going to be ridiculous. You know what I mean? And I vibe off of that. When, when yeah. I, I can tell you, I can tell you that there are few Romanians that go to my gym and they are excited, excited, man. They, they And, and I like to tell you, one of my first shows I ever did was overseas in Finland. And there was no lie, 15,000 people in the audience. Wow. At, really? a, at a at a show that wasn't the Olympia. It was a qualifying show for the Olympia. Yeah. So, you know, when when um I think we kind of take it for granted over here. You know, um and I and I second what you're saying. Like you're going to the New York Pro, you're expecting this huge production because it's one of the biggest shows we have. And you know, honestly it's 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 big because of the name. Right, right, right. But if right, you right. went there and didn't know the history, if you didn't know the history behind it, you would think it was just another show. Yeah, well, and, it's the, and, it's and it's the it's, same uh, show as, I mean, I listen, it, it's the same show as the same place where they have the Atlantic States and where they have Team Universe and so on and so forth. So, yeah. uh, but, yeah. th- you know, that being said, you know, uh, it, it, it's still a good production for the United States. But when you yeah. go into Europe, it's like, what the fuck? But so, yeah, I hear what you're saying, Fred, definitely. So, guys, I didn't mean to interrupt yeah. you. No, no, I'm just saying it. The way we're appreciated over there, you know, um, God, I mean, there, there are so many opportunities over there. I mean, I've done week tours over in London um, and uh, France, and they treat you like like you are truly celebrities. Yeah, yeah. That's it. When you guys saw the list come out, when you guys saw the Masters list come out, I mean, I all I I know, you know, everybody is you know, trains as hard for themselves and so on and so forth. But did you guys, I know I would, if I was in your position, I would go down the list. I'd be like, I'd be like, all right, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, that guy's going to be rough. <laughs> did, did you guys do that at all? Did you guys, because one name that stood out to me that that was really surprising was Josh Lenardowitz. But the thing is, we have not heard not one thing from him, nothing on social media, nothing from an interview, absolutely nothing. I don't even know if he's still doing the show, but he is on the list. Well, it's you know, um, no, he wrote he wrote to me privately, but that's the one you have to be scared of when the, when when we're in dead silence, right? When you don't hear nothing, you don't see nothing, and that is the mindset you should be. At. I mean, I'm the same way. When I'm in prep, I don't really post 
I, my wife does every my she'll record my training, but she posts it after the show's over. Mm, <laughs> you okay, know what I'm saying? Okay. That's how we do. It. But it, I think that's the mindset you have to be in. I mean, that's a Rocky type, uh, Mr. T type mindset. Um, I think he's going to come in. I think he's going to come in. You know, he's been away for a while, but I don't think that's any excuse. I think he's going to come in in really good shape. I think a lot of people's going to come in in good shape. I, I really believe that. You got to understand, this is the Master Olympia. Some people that's been away, you know, like Fred said, this is like their Olympia. So people right. are stepping up. The only thing now separates how great you come in is the structure, the shape, and the flow. I mean, these are now the things that's being judged. You could come in super big and freaky and looking nasty and veiny, but I don't think that's what's going to win the show. You know what I mean? It's You, you got to bring the total package of bodybuilding. Right. You know what I mean? Um, Freddie, he's an excellent poser. So, I mean, I just, I think everybody's going to do well. Um, of course, you know, everybody's looking out for Kamal and, and, and stuff like that because he brings in great conditioning. Um, I train with Kamal, and Kamal is one of the reasons why I put myself on the list because, honestly, I was never thinking about the Masters. When me and him was training, he's the one that pushed me to do it because I was like, no, I'm not going to do the Masters because I believe the minute I go on that list, they're going to now look at me different in the open, you know what I mean? And they kind of did because – when the when the Orlando came out, you know, in the past you're here, oh, Clay Hart is a threat, boom, boom, boom. When this came out, oh no, he's gonna take second or possibly third. I mean, that's how it was going. He's in the master, so that's his main focus. He's not gonna come in in shape for Orlando. So yeah, Kamal was the one that actually talked me into doing this, and I and I decided to do it. Although, Phil, there was one guy who predicted you to win that. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 100 percent Yes, you did. So now that, that, now that you uh, brought it up, uh, Fred, what do you think? Before Phil won the Orlando, all eyes were on Kamal. Everybody was basically picking him to win. Uh, what do you think? But the thing is, he is a 212 guy, and he's going to be on stage against some big dudes. You, Phil, Josh, you go down the list. What do you think? Um, I honestly think uh, all things being considered, if everybody's in shape, um. If you have everybody with good symmetry, and at that point, then it, it's it's the tie-ins and the flow of the physique. Mm -hmm. And um, Kamal, I mean, Kamal looks great. He looks amazing. Um, so I mean, you know, he's he's going to be in that first call out because he's a former two twelve Olympian champion. Right. Um, but I believe that um, you know, if you have a guy who's twenty pounds heavier. With this, with better flow, and just as hard conditioning, that you know, we'll see what happens. So I don't seen, think I've seen I, that happen to him actually. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Tampa. Tampa with uh, Tampa. Uh, Tampa. Williams. Yeah, you know. So I, I don't think it's a given for anyone. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think what everybody is, uh, you know, I, I got really upset with Nick Power and Strength because of the way he was talking about the Masters Olympia, and you know what people fail to understand is that. If you have a guy who killed it in the open, he has no motivation to bring it for this show, right? Because he's already got multiple Arnold titles. He's already got top five placings at the Olympia, if not a Mr. Olympia title. Uh, I and this guy is talking, and this guy's talking about why aren't these guys doing the show? What's the motivation? Right? There's not a, there's no motivation. The motivation oh, right. When when coming, Nick Strength and Power was saying why we, what we would love to see a Jay or a Phil yeah, or yeah, yeah. I mean, like what's the point? Right, for, right, for twenty right, right. for twenty thousand dollars, they gonna do that? Right? right, they're making more on social media. They're they're uh, and there's nothing for me. It's never it's it's not about the money. For me, it's about having that Olympia title behind the name. Mm. Right, it's a legacy thing. Right, so, um, you know, and I think that it's for a lot of guys doing this show. And I think if anyone comes in thinking that because we're older that we're not going to bring it, I think they're really mistaken because I don't think you put your name on that list unless you're ready to bring 110% and ready to bring it. And, 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 you know, like what did, what did Rocky say? I still got some stuff in the, in the basement, yeah. you know, that's I mean? right. I that's basement. Basement. In the basement. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I think that's what a lot of guys got um, that are doing it feel. Um, now, as far as, um, you know, Phil said about, the guy's not showing what they look like. I think it goes both ways. You know, I've had shows where I don't show much, but it's because I'm not feeling great about the way I'm looking. 
And I have shows like this one where I feel great. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to show it. Because at the end of the day, we, we are not, you know, Phil's been in combat sports. It may give something away if he shows the technique on so on social media to a, a fighting to a person who can watch film and see his the way he fights. Yeah. With us, you're gonna pose your physique in the best light possible. You're gonna you you better be busting your ass every time you do cardio, busting your ass every time you're in the gym, eating the food the way you're supposed to eat it, staying focused. And no matter what anyone else is doing, it has no bearing on what you're gonna bring that day. None. Because your your goal is to bring your best physique. So I don't think it really matters whether you show it or don't show it. I think what happens is some people have to figure out what works for them. And for me, seeing myself, like I posted that video or that video got reposted to me with the abs and Nick Power and Shunt post reposted that video. And that's two weeks ago and I look way better than that now. So now when I see it, I'm like, ah, shit, that doesn't look that great. Right. But that just means I'm on point. Right. So, you know, I think for me, it, it motivates me. That's what that's what motivates me. Okay. Shock, shock. You know, hence I'm posing three three minutes in a two minute spot, right? <laughs> yeah. No, listen. You know what a lot of guys don't what a lot of guys don't understand, and I'm not saying Nick strength and power. Uh, Nick from that I'm not not saying he doesn't understand it. <clears throat> you can look like a different person in two weeks. Absolutely. You know, I, I mean, I, I've competed, but never at your guys' level. I mean, not even close. But I remember going back and forth with my coach and saying, you know, I don't think I'm ready. And I had like a month left. And he goes, do you realize what you, you could look like in four weeks? You could, and, you know, it's 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 so when somebody looks out of shape and, and the first thing that comes to mind, if you remember, I, I believe it was Dallas McCarver who put up before the he did the um, before he did the Arnold Classic. Obviously, you know, he was could have been one of the greats, but, you know, uh, God took him to a little too soon. And he posted a he posted a physique update where he's posing, and then Sean Ray really got on him about how he looked. But it wasn't even a month before the Arnold; it was like six weeks before the Arnold, if, if, if memory serves. And they really, he was really like shitting on him. I don't know if you guys remember that, and it was surprising coming from somebody like Sean Ray because he knows the game. When it comes from somebody like maybe a Nick Strength of Power or maybe competed like once or twice. You know, maybe he doesn't understand uh, how things change. Uh, Phil, what is your your look at it? Your take on that? On um, the whole, yeah, uh, the fact that you uh, you know somebody puts a picture up on social media a month before, two weeks before, six weeks before, and says, "Hey, I don't know if this guy's going to be ready," or so on and so forth. And but they but they really haven't kind of lived through it and understand the process. From what I've experienced and seen, there's two reasons. And this is just my personal belief. Yeah, everybody is different. And, and some people love, you know, showing their physique and it, it, it'll, you know, psych them up or whatever the case may be. But like I said in a lot of podcasts, it, it's a double-edged sword. I've seen people look great four weeks mm -hmm. out, three weeks out, two mm -hmm. weeks out. Okay, this is what this is what Steve Weinberg says. He don't give two craps what you look like prior to the shows, what you step on stage, and what you look like on stage. He's right. At that minute Amen. when you're being judged. I've seen Amen. so many greats, La Prada, the list can go on, look great. And then they step on stage, even the shows just recently, like, what the this is not the way he <laughs> looks. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> or you get these podcast people that, like you said, compete in one show, or whatever, or think they know about bodybuilding. And they want to sit here and be judgmental and say the things they want to say. To me, my body is my temple and I'm very, very spiritual and I don't believe in any negative things. And then I don't allow negative things to come into my space. That's why I don't post anything. I always know I look great and I'm going to bring the best I can bring. But I don't need someone judging me when the judges are what matters judging me and trying to shoot videos all over the place and, and nitpick at whatever they can to try to mess up my focus, my psyche. So, you know I mean? That's just my belief of why I don't do it. Um, but, and you know, but like I said, some people, they look really great and the nerves could set in and not probably not so much for the more experienced uh, bodybuilders, but still anything can happen though. You right. could get to Romania and anything. I had it with me in Boston, look really, really great. And because of my diuretic medication, we got into a lot of problems. 
the night before struggling to get myself even prepared to step on stage. So mm-hmm. anything can happen uh, prior. And I guess that's why I don't do it because I don't want to, everybody say, oh man, Phil is looking great. He's going to kill the show. And I step on stage like, what the hell just happened? Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. So that's just one why I don't, I, I don't do it myself. I, I'm going to segue into a little bit of a different topic, I'm, and I'm going to let Fred <clears throat> take it first. But we were talking a little bit before uh, we were recording. Every week the list comes out for the open shows, and you can't win on points anymore. You can't go to, uh, qualify to go to the Olympia on points anymore. You have to win a show. So you automatically would think that that would make things interesting. You would automatically think that these open bodybuilders would be killing it trying to qualify but that's not what's happening every show seems to be getting less and less and less competitive and i don't know if you saw fred i don't know if you saw the list for tampa but basically it's hunter labrada and a bunch of guys i've never heard of you know i i like i said i know uh uh nate spear only because he's been on the show and we i'm actually quite good friends with him but uh to keep it real He's a good bodybuilder, but he's not a Hunter Labrada status. What I don't understand yeah. is why aren't these guys taking advantage of going in, getting the W, qualifying for the Olympia, and taking it there? Because we've seen it with the last week with the Big Man Show. We've seen it. Well, you know, um, the only two names in Orlando that were uh, significant was Phil and Hassan. And to Hassan's credit, and to guys like Hassan, and to guys like um, Stanimal. They kept pushing it. They're like, I'm getting this W. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. You would think that would happen more, but there were a lot of guys that are just sitting it out and just go, I'm not fucking doing it. Well, I mean, there could be a lot of reasons for that, but, um, you know, most people, um, unfortunately, a lot of people have that defeatist mindset. So they're like, well, if I only can qualify for it by winning, then I'm going to wait till I feel like I can win. That could be one. Right. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm like, when you can qualify on points, it makes sense to do three and four shows because even if I get third in all those shows, I'm accumulating points, right? Back in the day, it used to be everybody who the shows were huge, top three would qualify for Olympia, right? So they just put that point system in in 2012. That was the first year for the point system. Before that, it was top three. So, um, I understand wanting to keep the Olympia small, but I think what ends up happening is a lot of guys who feel like they're not ready to win don't compete because they're like, it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. Um, And anymore with social media, with social media, coaching online, like what do I care about $3,000 for? If I can, I can literally sign up for clients this week online and I didn't have to diet and break my progress. Right. Because I feel like I need to put on another 10 pounds before I'm going to be ready. Right. 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 So I think that has something to do with it. Um, You know, and and I just think like right now, the guys that are um, like, you know, I'm surprised that the men's physique and the men's classic have so many people competing. Um, But the men's open, people forget the men's open put our bodies to way more than anybody else. That's a hundred percent true. Way, way more than anyone else. So Absolutely. there's no such thing as us, you know, going in. We got to be full, bone dry, big, and if you're not, you don't have a shot. So, you know, um, I think that has a lot to do with it. A men's physique guy, you know, a lot of these guys are are bigger, but you put them next to an open guy, they still look very small, mm-hmm. and um, so therefore you kind of go back to the mindset of it doesn't take as much for them. They're not putting their bodies at risk the way we are to get in shape for these shows. Um, so I just think maybe, maybe that has something to do with it, you know, and I understand why they did the point system thing and took it away because so many people, but then there's a lot more options too. There's like a, a show every other weekend. Right. Yeah. right. So, you know, if I don't, you know, if you're willing to travel, and you have the ability to travel. I mean, you know, you can pick a show and go strategically and, and try and figure out what show you want to do. There's, mm. there's probably, what there's like 20 something, 30, sh- uh, tw- over 20 shows, I think. 
Yeah. Something like that. That's a lot of shows. It's pretty much every week. That could be why the lineups. I mean, Milos was just talking about this the other day. I was watching Milos and um, uh, it was Milos uh, and uh, uh, several other guys. And they, they were saying the same thing. And Milos said back in their day, I mean, it was only like five shows and then they went on tour. So that's why you got the best of the best. You got to look at it. They keep adding more shows. So it's so watered down. You're not going to get, everybody's just not going to compete. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going to strategically pick, you know, the shows mm-hmm. to get in that they know they're going to qualify. Like, you know, of course, um, Andrew Jack is very smart. He won the Texas. Of course, he's the front runner at Texas. Right, <laughs> you know right, what I mean? Right, right, and right, I, right. I truly believe he's going to win Texas. I mean, I just believe it's going to happen. Um, but I think it's so many shows now. That's why it's a little watered down and they keep adding shows. And you got to look at it, the Olympia, the top five are already in. Then you have the Arnold, whoever wins that, then they end up, or, you know what I'm saying? So the big right. ballers are already in. I, right, you know? right, I, right. I, I do think, though, that taking away the point system is the reason why you don't have more people in the shows. Because mm-hmm. the guys that the guys that aren't necessarily even B level pros, right, which still have it, would still think to themselves, you know, I can place top five. I can place top five. Let me let me let me give it a shot. So, you know, and right now, if they don't think they can place top five, it's kind of like now when you turn pro, they're giving pro cards out way easier than they used to. I mean, they give them away like hot cheetah. Yeah. And it's like crazy. But remember back in the day, if you were an amateur because the magazines controlled everything, you might have to go five, six, seven times to compete before you actually turn pro. But when you turn pro, you were ready. Yeah. Now you got guys turning pro and they still got two more years before they're actually ready to be on a pro stage. Yeah, you're absolutely because right. Their, because the open bodybuilding is watered down. And that guy who would have been incredible in the middleweights or light heavies, he's now doing classic. Right, 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 right. And 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 a lot of them using it as a stepping uh, stones. Absolutely. Like a, like a stand animal, you know. Yeah, no, I, don't you, believe, you, you, I don't okay, let I'm me sorry. say what I don't believe men's open bodybuilding is in jeopardy. I don't. And 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 we still sell out the most seats, you know, other than I mean, trust me, C Bun is C Bum is the man, no doubt about it. I mean, he's got he got that charisma, he's got that that poise, he's got everything about him, but it's because he reminds you of like a young Arnold, right? Um so people get nostalgic and they look at him and they're, they're following him, but he, he has that personality. But other than that, like in classic, it's still the biggest stars are still in open. No, hundred percent. Right. You take Seabum out of it and nobody knows. Nobody right. knows the rest of the, nobody yeah, knows, right. yeah, you give me top three. Everybody else is just, okay. I kind of heard of them. I think I heard of them. You know what I mean? But everybody in the top 12 at the Olympic, everyone knows those guys. Mm-hmm. And and I think so. I don't think there's any jeopardy with the men's open. I think what happens is it's always been this way. It takes more, more time to develop a truly good men's open physique. Right. And guys now have a different route to turn pro. But I think, like you see every year, more men's classic guys turn, go try to go to 212. 212 tries to go to open and people grow through it. But that's just a natural maturation process where people used to do that in the amateurs, but now they have pro divisions for these, for the guys that, that are not quite there yet. That's an extremely, extremely good point. Phil, this is going to be my last question. And I'm going to let you guys go. Cause I know it's uh, getting late. Um, Fred hit on a lot of good points as to why people aren't uh, competing and so on and so forth. So, and several points I never even thought of, but how much of the payout, is an issue because uh, in these smaller shows, which let's face it, the majority of them are smaller. You know, number one gets ten grand, number two five, number three three thousand, and then you're lucky if you get anything after that. How much of that do you think it serves as not much of an incentive for these guys to compete? Because, like Fred said, you know, they could train online, they get endorsements, they have major followings on social media, and they're making a hell of a lot more money than that. No, I think that's. I think that is a, a big impact. I, I mean, I think they need to raise. I mean, it's been the same pay for over a decade now. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Inflation, inflation went up on yeah. on all of us with everything else. It's only right that the you know the pay goes up. You know, Milos also had a good thing. He's like, you know, the Olympia is is the best of the best, right? And they only pay what the top five, top five, 
Top five. I think they get the top ten, don't they? Everybody gets paid. Everybody gets paid. It's just it's it goes like the guys out of the top fifteen get a thousand or two thousand dollars. Oh really? But I mean, what, oh I didn't know that. that yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, everyone gets paid. Um, you know, it, it's uh, just like at the Arnold, everyone gets paid. Um, you know, I think yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody gets paid at the Arnold too. But, but, it's, um, but it's pennies on the dollar if you're not breaking the top five. Basically. Oh, a thousand dollars doing nothing. Yeah, but I mean, I think what tenth gets ten thousand dollars or something, something like right, that, right? right? And then right, it goes right. up from there. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Phil. I'm sorry. Yeah, but yeah, man, I think that has a lot to do with it. I mean, I know I know how much money I spend. You know, what I mean, same thing. That was another reason why I probably wasn't going to do the Romania. I'm like twenty grand. I'm gonna pay ten grand. Just go. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know you're what I'm right, saying? You're right, you're right. Because between me and Karen, my, my wife coming, because she she makes sure everything's okay with me. So that's two people traveling, right? That's right. And then you got to count the the food. So you know, what I mean, when I looked at it strategically, it didn't really make sense. You mm-hmm. know, what I mean, but you know, I got a coach that's in my ear. Like, if you don't do it, then you're gonna get mad that you didn't do it, and you're gonna wish you did do it. So yeah, <laughs> you know no, what I'm saying? I was right. trying to find all kinds of ways to sneak out of this thing. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, I just I, I'm going to be blessed and honored to step on the stage with with these great uh, competitors. I'm just going to go up there and have fun, man. That's what it's all about. Yeah, Are man, I'm excited gonna... to meet you in person, bro. Huh? I said I'm excited to meet you in person. You know? Oh yeah, most definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, Are you guys going to spend any time in Europe after the show? Uh, you know, maybe do a little sightseeing, a small vacation, or something no, like that. I'm flying out on Monday. I'm out. That's it. You're yeah, what about I'm, you? Yeah, I'm flying out Tuesday. So I, I wanted to, I like to have the day after in the countries to kind of experience some of the local food, right. you know, and then, yeah. uh, and then you're out, you know, and then Phil said, since he already got his Olympic qualification, he's going to do a little bit of uh, less diuretic the night before so I can win. Yeah. Then both of you can go. Yeah. It's only fair, Phil. It's only fair. Yeah. <laughs> you know, don't be stingy, bro. I'll win everything. <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, thank you very much. I truly appreciate you both coming on and uh, and uh, talking about the Masters Olympia. I'm, I'm very humbled. Always much respect. You guys uh, and I will always be in touch. And, uh, you know, after either one of you win, we'll have you back and uh, we'll have some fun. Yes, sir, man. Ready, man. I'll see you up there, bro. Yes, sir, bro. All the best. All right, man. The rest God of bless, man. Thank you, guys. All right, gentlemen. Have a good night. All right. Take you care. Too. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,